Gregory a manifestarme su, su interés, su deseo de que hiciéramos un proyecto juntos. Yo no te sé decir por qué a mí se me ocurre que el piano solo era la idea. Me parece que, que a él le tomó de sorpresa, pero lo asumió de una vez. Entonces, bueno, ahí empezó la idea de hacer el disco. Y sí, Gregory traía muy claro el contenido del disco. It's always been a wish of mine to have individuals, talented musicians, not Americans, to give their interpretation to American songs. Obviously, on this album, we, we found also two songs pertaining to two beautiful people coming from England. Me parece que el hecho de, de decidir hacerlo aquí en casa fue como una reacción a protegerme, ¿no? a encontrar un nido, un espacio donde yo me sintiera cómodo. Es un espacio que yo conozco, es el espacio donde yo trabajo diariamente. Me parecía que quedándome en casa me sentía un poco más arropado, un poco más protegido, no sé por decirlo de alguna manera. Why Gonzalo? I was never in doubt to approach him, but I was somewhat in doubt whether he would accept the challenge, because I believe that a project like this has never been done before. Him alone with his instrument, with his piano, portraying and performing these songs in a fresh and unique way, writing basically these songs in a new version, because he created beautiful arrangements for these songs. And I was very honored that after our first conversation, he said, well, okay, let me think about it, but I find it quite, uh, Quite interesting if we have to do it like this. One day I received an amount of pictures and some videos, the recording session, and I saw that we had some rose, rose bouquet close to the piano in the area where we made the recording. They look beautiful. And I automatically said, Rose, I mean, there's nothing that match more with the rose that those pieces that we are using to make the record. Actually, the rose are those compositions. And we are picking them from different gardens. And different. Uh, periods, periods, music, exactly. different composers. I said, Jesus, this is it. Borrowed roses. So I have to talk to Gonzalo because we are borrowing for a moment in time beautiful roses. You can use them for a moment. You can make those roses blossom. You can make those roses believe that they are more than a rose and you share it to the world, a rose is, is as innocent as it can be and as beautiful as it can be. I never heard anybody say that a rose is not beautiful. I wanted to go back to the roots. These songs have been created in an era, even the McCartney and the Sting song, by people who were musicians, people who still really can create something out of nothing, with a guitar, with a piano, let alone all the beautiful composers that uh, Gonzalo and I have chosen to uh, pick and choose to make this happen. And there is no other way to do this than to exp expose yourself and the way Gonzalo has put it down 
I said to him, and it was not, it was even like Van Gogh is alive again. Great artists that can change the way people think, that can change the culture, they never die. Venir a un proyecto como este es desde la humildad y del respeto sincero, el respeto sincero a los que crearon esa, esa obra, a los que la escribieron primero y a los que ya han hecho interpretaciones irrepetibles, únicas. Y es bonito hablar de todo esto, ¿no? porque muchas veces lo que se ve es el resultado. Y estamos viendo una etapa donde quizás estemos vendiendo demasiado resultados sin explicar cómo se hacen las cosas. I immediately said, of course. I remember I used the word of course. And then I asked him, can it be done? I said, that's not the problem. So again, it's so straight to the heart and so it's almost like this should have happened 20, 30 years ago. But it didn't, so we are doing it. Adoro lo que hago. Lo amo intensamente. No puedo vivir, creo, sin hacer lo que hago. Pero lo sufro mucho. Lo sufro profundamente. Con la misma profundidad y la misma intensidad con que lo amo.